Next fellow, the Senate Majority Whip, John Thune of South Dakota. Senator, very good to have you. Um, so the visits hey, are on. I know that some of your Democratic counterpart, Senator, including Chuck Schumer, have no interest in meeting her. What do you think of that? I think it's unfortunate. I think that they would uh, find a, a very qualified jurist, uh, somebody who has not only the, the intellect, but also the work ethic. She does the work. She's been a, a, a judge on the uh, Seventh Circuit Court now for some time and authored several opinions as a majority and as a, in dissenting opinions. And I think that we found out uh, in that time, Neil, that she's somebody who respects the Constitution, the law, precedent, and uh, is very vigilant about making sure that they are applied in an even-handed way. And so I, I think that it's unfortunate that my Democrat colleagues are uh, refusing to even entertain the thought of meeting with her. Uh, this is an important seat. It's one that uh, obviously we're going to move forward with. And I think it would be to their uh, benefit, at least, to be able to say to the American people, that they did due diligence to their duty and responsibility under the Constitution to provide advice and consent. Um, you know, the general view on this, Senator, is that uh, Republicans will vote for her. Um, by and large, maybe every single one of them, uh, Democrats will vote against her. But we're, we're getting some word here that they, she might be able to secure, as she did uh, when she was put before the Senate uh, for the Circuit Court of Appeals, uh, she might get some Democratic votes. I believe then she got at least three. Do you envision any of your Democratic colleagues supporting her nomination? I, I would say, I, I would hope that that would be the case, Neil. I think, like I said, she, it's going to be very, very hard to argue that she isn't qualified for this. And I think in terms of her uh, temperament, her judicial philosophy, she's exact, exactly the kind of justice you would want to see on the Supreme Court. And I think she's going to be a very relatable person for the American people, and not that that's the criteria on which you'd make a, a determination as a senator on whether or not to put her on the Supreme Court. But I think that the American people are going to find somebody who's a lot like them, who's raising a big family, uh, committed to their family and to their faith, and uh, takes very seriously the awesome responsibility that she has, uh, not only now to serve on the appellate court, but to uh, hopefully ultimately serve on the Supreme Court. So, you know, you would think that would win over a Democrat or two. Uh, my guess is, and this is just my guess, that they're going to be pretty dug in on this because I think their leadership and in a lot of ways sort of their de facto leader, AOC, and the far left is really uh, the tail wagging the dog right now. And I don't think they want to give the president well, they or argue, Republicans as you know, in the Senate Senator, They argue, as you know, this is, this is just, just desserts for the way Republicans handled Merrick Garland in the, you know, the last year of the Obama administration. So it looks like it's going to be nasty. Uh, has the judge been prepared for that? I think she's ready for that. She got tough questioning when she was up. Uh, as, as you all know, they kind of went after her for her Catholic faith. And I think that she's prepared to answer the hard questions. And I think she's going to going to perform extremely well uh, in a very you know difficult set of circumstances because I think the Democrats are going to come after her hard. But like I said, in the end, it, you know she's going to prove that she's uh, very able and qualified for this job. And I think she's going to have a lot of uh, allies, not only uh, in the Senate but around the country, when people get an opportunity to observe her in action. All right, all this doable by election day. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, obviously, we want to make sure we give fair consideration. Um, there's ample time now. In fact, right. frankly, one of the reasons I think Senator Graham waited to start hearings until October 12th is so every Democrat who wanted to would have an opportunity to meet with the judge. But if they're going to refuse that opportunity, and that's their option, obviously. But if you can look at the, the number of days that are allowed for the hearings and uh, and then the reporting of the, the judge to the floor and the time it would take to process her on the floor, I think it's certainly uh, possible that we could complete action uh, on this toward the end of October. That would be my hope. Uh, ultimately, it's up to All the leader right. to decide the timing. So we'll see what happens, Neil. All right. Thank you, Senator Johnson, very, very much. Uh, again.